is what everything looks like. Hope you can see. <laughs> oh, really? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Um, and today's video is going to be some fuzzies already. I just started. Gosh. Today is going to be a super, 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 super fun video. Today, I am going to do a unboxing and a review on the new, well, the new Wet n Wild Time SpongeBob collection. And I have it right here. Right here, everybody. And it is the PR box. I got it from Amazon when it launched. Um, they had different dates where you can get from Walmart, with Wild Beauty, Ulta, and on Amazon. And I got it from Amazon. I got the whole PR box. And I just got it yesterday. So I'm going to do a unboxing. I'm going to do a review, show you guys each product, and then on the second part of the video, because it'll be a two-part video today, so this will be extremely long, I'm going to do a makeup look, and I'm going to use the palette. I'm going to try to use everything except like the brush cleaner and everything else. So, grab a snack and get ready, because we're going to have a super, 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 super fun time creating a look using this new Wet n Wow. Time is fun. Before we jump into the review, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'm going to give you time to just hit the little button. It's free 99. Cost you anything. Doesn't cost you anything. But it helps me out and it helps me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. So if you um, want to become a Sunray, then I suggest you hit the subscribe button. Okay? guys should be done and if you enjoyed the video before you leave make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down your favorite product and your favorite shadow because i'm going to swatch all the shadows so i would like to know what's your favorite shadow because it's probably the same one that i like and yeah so let's hop into it try and open the box so you guys can see this is the spongebob times the wet and wild it is Wet n Wild drawing SpongeBob SquarePants in the Bikini Bottom Game to lighten up your imagination with a positively joyous collection of tools, powerful pigments, and all benefits, all with a touch of irresistible nautical nonsense. Yes, 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 yes. And I looked at it yesterday. I mean, I saw it when it launched and everything. I saw like the previews and all of that. And so I was super excited. So this is what everything looks like. If you can see. <laughs> oh, really? So this is what everything looks like. I lost a little friend. If you can see, somebody tried to jump out. But this is everything. And I am super excited because of this palette looks delectable, you guys. It looks so, so pretty. So I'm just going to go from the top row all the way down to the bottom row. Um, and then I will do a makeup look using these products. I normally start off, you know, with the review of whatever products and then my part two is going to always be the tutorial. So the first thing that we're going to review is the SpongeBob makeup sponge. Of course, why have a SpongeBob collection and not have an actual SpongeBob sponge? But it has his face on it. And it has this little house. The packaging is adorable. You can get all of these things separately from Walmart or Ulta or on the website. But I wanted the complete collection so you all can get a real good idea and of what you know, products they have and how good they are. If you like them, if you want to pick them up. If I just had a couple, it wouldn't be a really good review without everything. So the first one, of course, is the SpongeBob Sponge. 
and it's square and it's really like rounded on the on the end because i'll open it for you so it has that rounded in but then it's also square <laughs> at the top so i think this will be really good to like bake you know carve out your nose carve out your cheeks you know this will really be good for that um so that is the first one next we have his bff spongebob bff we have patrick and patrick is like a typical beauty blender shaped sponge so he has that pointy end which will be good of course for concealer blending out your concealer going down the bridge of your nose um and then it also has a rounded bottom so that you still can blend out cream blushes or whatever it might you need to um blend out with that but this is super cute and has his face on it as well and i want you guys to stick around for the two-part video because i'll have these actually out of the package and you can see them uh, being used in their whole entirety um because this is just basically showing you the products, but I want to use it in my two-part video. So make sure you come watch this whole video and then you uh, watch the second two-part video so you can see all the products close up. And we have Squidward. What would be a SpongeBob collection without Squidward? And it's crazy because Squidward is actually my favorite SpongeBob character. I don't know. It's just something about Squidward. Not that he's like grumpy and super like extra, but it's just something about Squidward. I kind of like Squidward. He's my favorite. Like SpongeBob, he's the homie. Patrick, he's cool. Um, but Squidward is like, I like Squidward. I don't know. But Squidward is a rounded um, sponge and then it has a, a smaller sponge and i see these sponges a lot and they're always called like contour face contouring sponges so i don't know if that was the vibe that they were going for but he also has a flat back part it's flat i don't really know what you could use that for maybe pressing the powder underneath your eyes that way it's actually in there if you just want to set it better um maybe you can apply some um highlighter liquid a liquid product and kind of because it's flat and it's small so it can get in that area better i mean i'll probably use that for like a liquid highlighter but that is squidward next we have a crabby patty <laughs> this is super 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 cute I think this is probably the cutest thing out of the whole collection. Like, everything is pretty, but this is, like, the most cool, most unique, like, cool, super SpongeBob, besides the actual SpongeBob sponge, a Krabby Patty, y'all. You couldn't have SpongeBob without a Krabby Patty. And I know, like, Mr. Krabs is not in here, because I think he's a, a main character. To me, I consider him a main character, but he's not in here. But they did incorporate the Krabby Patty. This is a sponge and brush cleaning pad. Um, and so I'm going to pop this out so you can see how super cute this is. It's the Krabby Patty. So you have the bun, which has this um, brush pad in it. Really fine. <clears throat> Uh, fine little bristles in it and it actually has like the little symbol not a symbol but like a little yeah symbol that they use in the actual um spongebob character then you have the lettuce and it's a different type of pattern for you to clean your brushes with so that's super cute you have this mystery meat because crabby patties i would assume is a crab mixture not like a like a crab cake but 
I'm assuming this meat is some form of crab meat or the big crabby patty, but it has a little question mark because it's mystery meat. We don't know what it is. And it has a different pattern as well. And the bottom bun even has a pattern on there. So you can clean your brushes and everything with this Krabby Patty. Uh, and I guess it's really cool if you travel, if you're a makeup artist and you travel and you want something compact to take with you to clean your brushes, like in between, in between clients, this is probably gonna be super cute because it also comes with the actual cleaner um, in the collection. <clears throat> so, I think that was pretty dope that they incorporated the Krabby Patty and gave you several different patterns for brushes, different brushes, big brushes, small brushes, all. Next, we're going to go into the one that jumped out in the beginning. He was ready. He was like, it's my time to shine. So here he is. This is the Pineapple House and this is SpongeBob's Pineapple House and it is a sponge case. Once again, super cool for traveling. Um, if you want to bring your sponge along with you, you pop it in here, take it with you. When you do your makeup, wherever you're at, you can wash your sponge out, put it back in here, and it will dry and not have bacteria growing on it and not have like uh, that smell of like mildew or something like that. And you know, it just keeps it a little bit sanitary and it was cool that they incorporated the house i wouldn't have thought like i probably wouldn't have incorporated his house and probably incorporated another character like mr Krabs, and probably uh plankton in some kind of way because i have gary in here so i would think but it's about spongebob so i get it so this is his house and it's just a sponge holder. So that's dope, dope, dope. And I will be using that. We're on to another item from another character. And I thought it was kind of, not weird, but I was just surprised rather that they didn't incorporate eyeshadow brushes. I think this would have been really cool eyeshadow brushes because I can just see like the detail and the, the way that they would package it and the way everything would look I thought it would probably look really pretty like the bristles from the brush could have been yellow one could have been the color Patrick something like that but they did not give you eyeshadow brushes but they did give two brushes so the first brush that I'm gonna show you is just a round kabuki brush and it is sandy um and this brush as soon as i saw it the first thing i thought this would be good for would be for since summertime is coming basically here i think this would be good for like that fenty like body glow stuff i know fenty has some ColourPop has some i literally just got one in my boxy charm i have that video um up on my channel and it's like a gel shimmer body glow and you put it on you know, so you can shimmer well you know <laughs> i keep doing this because i'm always thinking of the fenty ad where she put it on her shoulder and she used her kabuki brush and it went viral like this literally could be for that and i have a body glow and i'm just like what brush would i use for that instead of using my hands and boom i will be using sandy <laughs> so follow me on instagram because i'm going to actually try that out to see how that works and i want you guys to see me use this cute 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 sandy brush it is a um brown kabuki brush and i'm going to use it to apply my body glow next we have another spongebob item <laughs> SpongeBob is just showing out in this whole collection. This is the flat kabuki brush. Now, this is one of the brushes I've seen everybody rave about. Everybody, they rave about how soft it is and how good of a contour brush it is and how it could be basically up there with high end with high-end brushes it is oh, i get it it is 
soft like this feels like heaven like this is really soft but everybody was saying it is the perfect brush to contour with i don't typically contour i bronze that's just my thing but i have contour powders and i have angled contour brushes and that's what i would typically use so i'm kind of intrigued to see like if this is going to be a really good contour brush so stay tuned for the tutorial because i'm going to use this to contour with and the tutorial will be all products from wet n wild because i was going to do a full face of wet n wild if you guys watch my two looks one palette i believe it was or it could have been my um i think it was my five below haul where i reviewed and showed everybody what i got from five below and i had got a ton 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 of brushes i'll have a card also link so you guys can see that i had a um, a lot of brushes from wet n wild and i said my next video would be a full face using wet n wild and then literally three days maybe after i made that video and uploaded that video they show sneak peeks and then they launched this within like two days so like instagram their wet and wild was all over trend mood a spongebob basically a picture and like dot 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 like so they were getting us all hyped up to figure out what this was and then they launched it but the next day they showed the whole collection boom a wet and wild collection spongebob so i'm like dang i was about to do a whole face using my regular wet and wild products anyway but maybe i should just do it using this collection because i was like i'm pretty sure i'm going to get it and i was still debating if i was going to get it and then i saw a link and somebody had like direct link to amazon where you get the whole pr box i ran and got it before it was sold out but the bad thing about it was it was a pre-order so i pre-ordered it and it didn't ship until the 30th that's what they told me you will receive it on the 30th of april mind you i ordered it on the 8th of april but the launch technically didn't launch until the 10th of april but for some reason walmart had it before the 10th so people were going to walmart actually buying things and then reviewing them and using them and then i'm like here i am waiting until the end of the month so this is a little late but i had in mind for it to be right on time from the launch i ordered it on the 8th thinking oh okay i'm gonna order it on the 8th have it by the 10th maybe the 11th maybe the 12th get this video up and then everybody would know what it was early on see the products that they like go to walmart go to ulta go wherever you needed to go and get what you wanted and here i am on the last day of the month reviewing it so it's been out like two weeks three weeks already but hey i got it and it is what it is next we're going to go into the and you know why i get it this is the gary um snail soap suds brush clean it's weird because me reading it they didn't like twist it correctly so gary's upside down but it is a sponge and brush cleaner but you guys know because i'm like something's loose like why is it loose like this is mine's broken you know gary's little eyes they click i get yo this is the dopest wet and wild collection yet my favorite wet and wild collection was the flight of fancy the one with the birds came out a couple of years ago it was so pretty everything in the whole collection was so pretty and i got that pr box too from Olsen. And I have pictures of that on my Instagram from years ago, if you don't know what it is. But since then, I have not been blown away with any of their collections like that. Like, I'll still love all their products and I might like one or two things from each collection. 
but the flight of fancy i love the whole collection the lip glosses the everything and see this collection doesn't have brushes this well eyeshadow brushes this collection doesn't have lip products this collection doesn't have um face products like blushes and things like that um but it all comes together to make sense and y'all this is the hands down best spongebob collection i've seen i've seen hip dot do one and that was the only one that i really saw floating around there might be other ones but in my mind the only other collection of spongebob that i'm really familiar with is the hip dot one but this one y'all it clicks like like gary that is just adorable and it's i want to smell it just to see what scent it is. It smells clean. It smells like soap, like dial soap. I don't know, it smells good. It's kind of sweet, but it smells clean at the same time. That was so, so cool. On to actual makeup products. Okay, that was weird because I'm like, this is supposed to be like shimmery and mine is just like clear. But it is the BFF Hydrating and Brightening Primer Mist. And it's called Shake Me. Is it called Shake Me or is this just instruction? <laughs> Y'all, it's early. I think that's just the instructions because you know normally when they have like limited edition they normally have the shade or they normally have the name of the like that normally tells you the shade or the number of the product and it says shake me so i'm like oh is it? no okay no belay my last don't listen to me i'm losing it but this is a primer spray and i'm going to shake it because it's shimmery y'all see that it's giving me iconic london um illuminating spray vibes i hope y'all can see how pretty that is and then it has sponge bob and patrick up to their shenanigans <laughs> about to start some 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 craziness on the front of it and i mean this gave me like kitty vibes like i feel like if you look at this product in store you would think this is for a child like this is just probably like a body spray or something you know like those calgon sprays that are kind of like for kids it's like cotton candy flavor i mean scented those are the vibes that it's giving me so i feel like it's my childhood like i'm grown but i do watch spongebob and i did always watch spongebob i have three children who watch spongebob so i'm just in the loop so yeah i'm an adult but i love spongebob and this just gives me like kitty vibes, like youthfulness, like super, super, super. Look at that's just so pretty. I can just shake this all day and look at it. But that is the spray. And I'll just spray it for you because I remember watching one review in the person said that this smelled strong. Not a bad smell, just a strong smell. This one or that one. So I wanna just see if you can see the mist. Okay, perfect. Smells, smells like, this smells like Dior or YSL perfume. Yo, this is a promise for I will legit spray this on me. <laughs> I will legit spray this on me. It smells so good. God, the mist was perfect. This is a primer spray, and I'm going to use it in the tutorial to prime my face. I already, normally I come in with my makeup already done, or at least my base done, but I'm, I did skincare, and I wanted to do the review first, and then 
do the tutorial because I didn't want to do the tutorial first to use the products and then show you guys the products and like the sponges are dirty, the brushes are dirty, like ugh. So I hadn't used this stuff yet, but I'm going to use this. But this smells legit like $300 perfume. And I know some of you guys are like, ain't no way I'm putting that on my face because if it has scent or fragrance to it, it breaks you out. And I didn't even want to film. I was so upset that my face is breaking out and I did not want to film with like blemishes and breakouts. So I probably shouldn't even put this on my face, but I'm going to just to see how it works. I don't know. I don't know. This might end up being my favorite product other than the eyeshadow palette, but I had not tried it yet, so I don't know. So, so far, I take back whatever I said previously. This is my favorite product, only because it's super, super pretty. I'm sorry, I keep looking in my mirror. I know, it's weird. Uh, because it's just, it's pretty. It smells so good. God, that smells good. And I keep smelling the air. <laughs> like, I'm weird. But the next we're gonna go in with the fun purifying it's kind of transparent purifying setting mist so this is the actual setting spray that's a primer spray you would think that probably would end up being the um setting spray because it has like a glow to it so i feel like it'll give you a glowy effect no this is the setting spray this makes me think of this setting spray that was all over Amazon and Instagram that they say if you use it, because they use it in like theater, that your makeup won't move and it won't transfer to your mask. And it's the packaging, it's, it's this color bottle, it's this type of like liquid in the inside. I can't think of what it is. Ben Nye, I think that's who makes it, Ben Nye uh, setting spray. But this is called fun it's a purifying one i think this is the one that the girl said smelled horrible well not horrible but was strong no it's not strong <laughs> seriously <coughs> wow i just took in a whole nostril full of setting spray i was so dumb courtney why would you do that it smells similar to the other one but not as good so I think what it was, okay, if I'm thinking and I'm remembering correctly, she said that one smelled strong, but this one burned her face. That's what it was. This one was stinging her face. So we'll see. It made her face like tingle or something. Yeah, but mist is perfect. Not too strong of a smell. And it's bigger. Let me say this. It is bigger than the typical wet and wild setting sprays normally their setting sprays are like this big honestly the actual bottle is this big maybe the top of the bottle might be this big but the actual bottle the amount of fluid ounces you get are like this big so i am appreciating a bigger 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 uh setting spray and you'll see because i was doing my full face of wet and wild so i already have my products like together and i actually have a setting spray from my haul if you hadn't even looked at my uh five below haul and that setting spray i got is probably like this big okay on to makeup yeah y'all hear that but do you see it do you see this highlighter Yo, let me tell you something. I hadn't even pre-opened this. Let me tell you something. As soon as I saw this highlighter, it's the SpongeBob highlighter. So SpongeBob has three actual products based upon himself. He has the sponge, he has the kabuki brush, and he has the highlighter. Everything else is other characters or a collaboration with him and like Patrick or something. Can I get this open? Well, as I'm trying to open this, let me tell y'all. As soon as I saw this, I automatically knew that this was a complete, absolute dupe for the Fenty Trophy Wife Highlighter. 
So the packaging is super, super pretty. It has his face on it. And it is like their Mega Glow traditional highlighter. It's a perfect uh, addition to the collection of highlighters because if you have any of their other highlighters, you already know they compete with high end. They're up there to me with the high end ones. I mean, I choose Wet n Wild highlighters over high end highlighters all the time. My favorite all time highlighter is the Precious Petals Wet n Wild highlighter. Um, and when I saw this, I just knew that this was a dupe for the Fenty Trophy Wife. True gold, 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 gold. I don't know how many times I can say gold highlight. Now, if you are fair skinned, all my fair skinned baddies out there, this is going to show up gold, okay? I still feel like it's going to be gorgeous, but you will see it. So if you don't care about having a very whimsical type of highlighter, you're going to love it because the formula and everything of this highlighter is clearly bomb. If you are my skin tone, this is going to highlight you very well. Now, if you're a darker skin tone, this is going to be bomb on you because this is a powerful, the Fenty Trophy Wife is a powerful highlighter. Like that highlight takes over whatever you got going on, whatever situation you got going on your face, that highlighter is gonna steal the show because that's the first thing you're going to see. And on me, as you can see, it's pretty, but it's there, it's there. So fair skin, lighter than me, medium, fair, light, medium. It's going to be there, but you can, you can make it work. I can make this work. Is this an everyday highlight? No, but I can make it work. But my dark skin girls, this is going to be bomb. And if you don't want to get anything else in this collection, if you don't feel like you're gonna use anything else in this collection, I feel like this is probably one of the things you might wanna grab. One is limited edition, it's super cute. And wet wine highlighters are bomb, 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 okay? Bomb. Last, oh, last but not least. And I probably should have had this stuff pre-opened, but I'm never prepared. <laughs> like I have a vision, I know what I want to do, and then I just do it and I'm not fully prepared. But the whole reason why I got this collection, honestly, if we're going to be 100%, I got this whole collection just for the e -e 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 palette. And this is the Nautical Nonsense Palette. And then, like I said, you can get all of these separately from Walmart, Ulta, Wet n Wild um, website, and probably some other drug stores. I want to say Rite Aid, maybe, I think I saw on there. <clears throat> but packaging, A+. Plus. Shade Ranges Color Story. A plus. Y'all know I am a neutrals. Give me a caramel brown transition. Give me a bronzy or a taupey gold metallic shimmer on my lid. Okay. Give me a brown, true brown corner to smoke out the look and some mascara. I'm set for life. Color scares me okay color scares me but today i am going to use color because this palette let me tell y'all this palette 
those shimmers can y'all see them shimmers because i'm not i'm not over exaggerating i'm not making this up do you see these shimmers the mattes are even gorgeous but these metallics and these shimmers what is this on my palette <laughs> i didn't look but this shade here looks like it's growing a fungus and i didn't see that everything was sealed so i don't know what's going on with that i don't know if that is part of the packaging i am very tempted to dip my finger in there and touch it but i don't want to because if it is a fungus i do not want that on me do it ah, well i'm doing it okay i'm i'm confused i am confusion i don't know if that is how it's supposed to be I'm going to chip away at it. Okay. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb. I think that's how it's supposed to be. I think those are like... Uh, I think that is like color pockets of something that is going to make... I don't know. I'm confused with that shade. What shade is that? And of course, the shade names aren't underneath, but they're on the back. So that is Sandy, Sandy Shoals. But I, it, I don't know if that is blurry, if you are able to see what I'm talking about. But there is something in that shade. We're just going to forget about that shade. All of the other shades are extremely, extremely pretty. Glitters, extremely pretty. This is the most gorgeous, shimmery, metallic green I have seen in a very long time. This blue is what my eye is being drawn to. These two colors here or what my eyes are being drawn to. So I think those are the two colors that I'm gonna play with in the palette and probably that one. Um, but the mattes look really pretty. They have different little stamps on them. Like it's a Krabby Patty there, it's a squid there, it's another Krabby Patty there, just like seaweed and different little, you know, nautical type little stamps on them. And the names of this palette are extremely pretty. We have uh, Tartar Sauce, <laughs> which is this shade that I'm going to play with. Tartar Sauce is really pretty. We have um, things like Absorb the Love, Order Up, Mr. Money, Howdy Y'all, <laughs> Howdy Y'all. And I, I Captain, Gare Bear, all oh, Gare Bear. Which one is Gare Bear? That's Gare Bear. That's so cute. Yes. Oh my God. Bikini Bottom. That's the one. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to use I, I Captain, Bikini Bottom, and Tartar Sauce on my eye in some kind of way as far as the shimmery shades go. And I'm definitely going to go in with like basic transitions. So howdy y'all. I believe that's howdy y'all is my transition. And what's next to tartar sauce? One eternity later. One eternity later. Yes, I'm going to use that. So I'm losing my mind right now because I'm ready to jump into this uh palette so i can use it on my eyes because i'm i'm intrigued i'm confused with that sandy shade because i don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or if there is legit something growing on that shade and i probably should not be using any shade in this palette if it's really fungus growing on it but i trust amazon i'm gonna do a little bit of research to see if that's how the shade is supposed to look but it's like little white things growing on it. And I don't know if those are like pearl-like little bubbles of 
shimmer that when you swirl it around there it picks it up and it kind of shimmers out the the shade or anything but i'm not 100 but i do want to thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you are excited and intrigued to see the look that i'm going to create make sure that you click to this next video that's going to pop up on your screen and um make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell to make sure that you are uploaded make sure you're uploaded make sure you're notified when i upload and i want to thank you all for watching and i will see you guys in the next video don't leave make sure you click that button okay peace